Hi, my name is Dr. Howard Cohn. I'm a natural health care practitioner, chiropractor, and I've been in practice for over 22 years. And I'm here to talk to you about something I like to call your wake-up call. A lot of people believe that if they don't have symptoms, that they're healthy. That's not necessarily true. If you don't have any kind of symptom, it just means that you're symptom-free. What's the first symptom of a heart attack for most people? Did you know it's actually death, a fatal heart attack? So if you're waiting for symptoms to show up to tell you how good you're doing, it's not always the way to go. A tumor could actually grow in a woman's breast for eight years before it's even visible on a mammogram. So for eight years, she thinks she's healthy, but she's not healthy. She just has no symptoms. Symptoms can also be a liar. For example, let's say I had an ingrown toenail or a toothache or an abscess tooth. Those are excruciatingly painful, yet they're simple and easy things to fix uh, with a health intervention or medically. But what's the pain of cancer? What's the pain that happens of heart disease? Most times there's no pain involved for years and we're developing these problems. Long before somebody has a disease, they have dysfunction. So that's what we're interested in looking at today. In China, they say, don't wait till you're thirsty to dig a well. It's a lot easier to stay well than it is to get well. In our office, we actually have a sign on the wall that also says, the five most dangerous words are maybe it'll go away. Because a lot of people, when they do get some kind of random symptom, what do they do? Do they run to a doctor? No, they go, ah, I hope it'll go away. Does it really go away? Not all the time. Our body compensates and so that we can deal with and go on. If you're swimming in the ocean and you see a shark fin and then you don't, do you feel better because it went away? You shouldn't. It probably submerged to sonar its friends for the feeding frenzy called your knees. So just because something goes away doesn't mean you got healthy. It means that your body compensated so you can go on and continue doing what you were doing. Most every time that's what happens. So again, this is a situation that's happening. So where are we? Number one, number two, number three killers in America. What are they now? Number one is cancer. Number two is heart disease. Number three is stroke. Three very sad and unfortunate things to happen. Yet everything we read, all the studies we read, everything we look at, we find out that all three of these things are diet and nutrition related. Where based on what we put in our mouth and what we don't put in our mouth, will determine whether we make ourselves susceptible or activate genetics we may even have for these certain conditions. There are books, studies, research papers, seminars, uh, courses, uh, you name it, all about this subject. You ever see uh, what happens, what somebody goes through when they go through modern cancer treatment? They're radiated, they're surgically altered, they are uh, uh, get chemotherapy, which is poisoning their body, and it's called modern cancer therapy. How about heart disease? Uh, if somebody's lucky enough to live from the heart attack that they have, their buzz sawed open, their arteries are cleaned out, and they're sent right back out there doing the same thing and not even being educated on what should be done in their diet to change how they got there to begin with. How about someone who's had a stroke? Half their body no longer works anymore, and they have to go through the brutal rehab program after they're done whimpering to get over the fact that half their body doesn't work anymore, where they might be defecating and urinating on themselves because they've lost bowel and bladder control, and they're trying to get enough function back to resume somewhat of a normal life. Yet they say sometimes up to four out of five people, 80% of America, will have one of these three things happen to them. So what are we doing about it? Health is not an event. It's not something we do once. We're either building our health or it's going away. It is simple as that. So, what do we do with our diet? What are we supposed to do? How do we prevent these things from happening? How do we stack the cards in our favor? The way that we do it is we pay attention to what we eat and how we're eating it, okay? There's a simple little measure out there that tells us how we're doing along the way, and that is when we measure what's called our pH. What does our pH stand for? It tells us how acid or how alkaline we are. There's not a disease that I've mentioned or a disease that you've ever heard about where acidosis or over acid state of the body isn't somehow associated with how somebody got to that state. And if someone moves more towards an alkaline lifestyle, an alkaline diet, a green food, alkaline plant, raw diet, they have a better chance of being healthy than someone who's not. There are famous studies out there, the China study, that details all about this. Now, 
problem is it's hard to do. It is. I've tried it. In 22 years of practice, I've been educating people on the importance of adopting an alkaline lifestyle. So when they say, well, how do I do that? Well, you want to eat these vegetables. You want to eat this kind of foods. You want to avoid uh, grains you want, that, are, that are highly inflammatory. You want to avoid the highly allergic foods like dairy and, and, and uh, gluten and things like that. And so they start doing it and they end up failing. A, because the foods that they love, they still love. B, is because the foods that they don't love that I've told them to take, they don't like. Usually people remember the first day they tried wheatgrass because it's usually the last day they had wheatgrass as well because it tastes awful. Doc, it felt like I just licked the bottom of my lawnmower. You expect me to do this? You got to be kidding me. And then everybody gets frustrated, myself and them at the same time. We're dealing with what we call the Mark Twain mentality. He had a famous saying, which was, I knew that I would live 10 years long if I quit smoking, but that would be 10 years without cigarettes. And thus the issue. So if all this was so frustrating, what were we to do next? I got together with two friends of mine who are of like mind, who are businessmen, who had tremendous amount of success in the nutrition industry and getting nutrition worldwide. They realized the same problem. They realized that although they were making a dent throughout the years getting people nutritional products, they really never were able to change the culture to get people to adopt this kind of philosophy. We looked at the reasons why. We looked at the reasons why that people started the day with foods that didn't work for them. Then they ate through foods throughout the day that slowly took them off to an acid state. And then when they, we tried to introduce stuff to them that was healthy, they didn't like them and they would sporadically move away from them. We realized we needed to make products that were simple and easy for people to do that they would love, and not only that what they, they would love, but everyone they, that they shared it with would love, even their children. And we'll explain in a second why that's important. So we put together a program with a company called 7.2, which 7.2 is basically named after an ideal pH of your saliva if you're in a highly alkaline state. What did we do? We looked at what people were eating in the morning. It was highly acidic. We wanted to start them with a meal supplement or something they could even replace their meal with if they wanted to. And we call that our 7.2 shake, made with 100% organic uh, sprouted brown rice protein, non-GMO yellow pea protein, all natural and great ingredients, no allergens at all. We then added our 7.2 greens. 100% organic, so good you can eat them right out of the container. Our shake as well, they call it the shake that tastes like cake. No artificial sweeteners, no artificial anything. Phenomenal, phenomenal products. That we knew would get people to be in a state where they can get healthy and stay healthy. We also had came to the realization that even though we got people on things that were great for them, they were still going to eat the cheese that they like, the bread that they like, the cocktail that they so adored, whether it's their wine or their beer, uh, their bone in ribeye, whatever they thought was the greatest thing in the world that they couldn't give up. So we put together what we call an alkaline booster. We call it the Hall Pass. You pop a couple of these alkaline boosters. It's all natural supplement. A half hour to hour after you eat or before you go to bed gets you right back to an alkaline state, not allowing your body to sit in an acidic state from the acidic meal that you ate. And perhaps our most exciting product is Recovery with HydroFX. Recovery is the first ever molecular hydrogen generating ingestible tablet of its type. A recent scientific study touted the effects of molecular hydrogen on the human body as a scientific miracle. Recovery with HydroFX is an all-natural, super anti-inflammatory, it's a super antioxidant, and it has an extremely potent anti-acid effect on the human body. It has even been demonstrated to reduce lactic acid production in exercise. Recovery with HydroFX is a true game changer in nutritional science. So we have products to get you there, products to keep you there. It's really that simple. Folks, we also made it a program, put a program together called a 72-day alkaline weight loss challenge. Why weight loss? Couple reasons. Number one is if you Google anything, if you Google weight loss, you'll see more people looking for that than anywhere else in anything else in our modern world. Why? It's because the diet that we're eating are making us fat. So that's simple. The New England Journal of Medicine just came out with a report staggering report saying that for the first time in 200 years, two centuries, that our children will not live as long as their parents. For the first time in 200 years, they went on in that report to cite the number one reason for that is childhood obesity. If we don't start with our children, if we don't start by changing what we're giving our children and calling food, 
we are going to see an epidemic on our hands and, we, and all the greatest doctors and scientists are saying it's already happening. If that wasn't enough, look at our financial crisis in this country. Now the number one reason for personal bankruptcy in the United States of America is not because that house that people bought, it's health care costs. The inability to afford the health care, more accurately, disease care. We put a company together to solve both problems for people. My parents both were affected by this. My dad died too young from heart disease. My mom died too young from cancer. I have a little four-year-old and a little six-year-old. I don't want to be one of those statistics. I want to be around for a long, long time. Um, I wanted to make sure that we created a, a, a legacy, a company that would change this reality for people. If we don't do it, it's not going to happen. Folks, this is your wake-up call. I invite you to join us with 7.2. Get back with a person who shared this information with you. They cared enough about you to do it. Spread this information. It'll change the world for the better. I'm Dr. Howard Cohn. Thanks for being with me today.